Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on Nixus Gaming. We are here in the little village outside of town. Today we're going to work on this whole area here. I have a very rough idea of how I want to do everything here. I'm going to build a house. I'm going to build a little retaining wall. Maybe a little stream that goes into a pond right here. And I think, spur of the moment decision here, I just came up with this idea. I think that I want to... Sorry, little pause there. I think I want to make this into a little bit of a vineyard, you know, for wine and stuff. Not just for the village, but maybe he sells it in the uh, town too. It's not the same size house as any of the other houses in the village. It's a little bigger, so it's going to look a little bit nicer. And I want there to be, like, a good difference. Like, why is this house nicer? I figured a vineyard would be a nice thing to put there. Uh, some things I've done in between episodes. I extended the path here all the way through the farm up to the windmill. I rearranged the buildings here to make room for not just one, but two silos. And I started the path through here all the way around to there. I also dug out this little tunnel that's going to be the main access to the city. So basically, you're out in the countryside, right? You're following the road. There's going to be a tree line on top of here to where you can't quite see the walls yet. You just see these trees and go into a tunnel, walk through, follow the road, and suddenly open up into a big city right in front of you. I feel that'll be really cool and nice to see. Other than that, though, um, there's not too many additions outside of the wall. There is one thing. I didn't build it. A friend of mine, Hunter, who you may have seen in all the Spyro videos, he popped on for a little bit. And he added another little boat to the docks. This one is a raft right here. And I feel like it came out pretty nice. Props to the guy. We're both... A little iffy on the sale, though. He wanted to make it look kind of tattered and torn a bit. But it, it's grown on me. It's grown on me the longer it's here. I'm probably going to keep it there for the time being. Plus, we need to fill out these docks more. Add more boats. Still got this one way over here. So there's like six boats in total on the uh, in the city. You got the two Legion boats. Two boats there. Uh, raft and uh, this kind of long boat here but anyways that's everything that happened in between episodes let's get started on this house here i want it to look similar to these smaller houses at least but like i said more grand so we're gonna start off by grabbing a lot of the same building materials here and we'll go from there. I guess grab the lantern too. Okay, so starting off, it's going to be a little bigger than this. I think we're going to do like a little outside bit to give it more definition. So we'll go around like this on the corners and such. Uh, this is a back door. Maybe we differentiate it a little bit like that. I think that's good for like the corners. We'll go ahead and tear down this. We got our perimeter now. Whoops. Place that back down, get rid of bees. And we will probably start laying down our oak, save that middle bit for the door. It's not going to be a two-story house or anything. It's still going to be one story. We aren't going to build it too high. We'll go four up on all of these just to get the uh, first floor in. The main floor. The only floor. I don't know. Maybe we can put a cellar in it somewhere. I feel like um, being a vineyard, they would want a cellar to store all their extra stuff and all that. So a cellar would be a nice addition go ahead and finish up the shell here get our walls done 
go all the way around, like so. I don't know how I want the windows to be on this yet. I'm, a, I'm probably going to do windows on all three of these sides. That way he can look out to the village, look out to his vineyard, and look out to the lake all at once. If he wants to. Like, all three are very scenic views. Probably add a window on the front, too. Not a very big one. That way he can see if any visitors are coming up. Uh, let's see. We're gonna do... Whoops. Something like this. Maybe one down. Just to give this a little bit more definition to it. Um, do I have a slab over here somewhere? I don't think so. Go ahead and pull a spruce slab. Get rid of the bushes for now. Hmm. You can do that, I guess. I don't know about these bits here like that, though. You might just do this, maybe? Cut them across like that. Or we could just leave them blank. I think, actually, we leave them blank. We put the windows in here. Okay, and for this top bit... We just go across like that, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We will hold off on that for now. Let's get a big window here on the side. Something like that. Pop a couple more in the back. Make them all different shapes. Just for some variation. And this one will match the window on the other side. So let's see, we did that there. Do this, maybe. How's that looking? Maybe we get rid of these windows. And we'll just do that on the side, maybe. So let's see, do the logs across again. Make this a nice little circular thing here. I'm feeling the sides, not really the front. Might have to change up the front a little bit. Break those down just so we can get this circular bit in again. Okay. Now, maybe the front's not too bad. We can do these on the corners, like we did on the other one, I guess. Although, those don't really poke out too much. Hold on. I'm going to put them in anyway, and once we do the roof, we might change them up. Because the roof is going to be next. Uh, we can have it kind of bulge up more in the um in the center, I guess. So if we come inwards like this, have a nice little weird corner there, maybe. Get our perimeter in. And connect across there. The, I don't. It's these that are throwing me off. I don't think I like those. I was maybe going to come out with this a little bit more. Give him a nice little awning. Probably not that far out. That should be fine right there. We can bring these down for supports. Like that. 
That's shaping up a little bit. It is shaping up. Go ahead and get our top bit done. Our roof. Some would call it. Going to go up with the stairs a little bit. And then, how about... Fill this in. Just put the stairs here. That way it squares off a little more. And how do I want to do this roof? start going in like this gonna have to fix that layer that's fine just want the shape of how I want it to look first we cut this out We throw in a nice window. That way it kind of matches the designs of the other ones. It's just bigger, you know? Um, maybe we don't do the, uh, the oak there. Then we slide these in right here. There's nothing for that to stand on. Hold on. How's that looking? It's not looking bad. I think I'm liking that design so far. Let's go ahead and chop this. And try and match this on the back. Whoops. What did it break out here? I broke this. Okay, yeah. Match this on the back. Came all the way across. That goes up. And then we put our windows in there. Why does it look... It looks a little weird from the side, not gonna lie. But from the front and the back, I think it looks pretty good so far. In fact, I kind of like that curve there on the roof, so maybe we don't even stare it off anymore. Just uh, flatten it out like this. Yeah? I think that's pretty good. It looks bigger and more grand than all the other ones. Probably the nicest house here, if I'm being honest. But I'm fine with that. Let's throw some of these out. Go ahead and grab this lantern, the bushes, we'll start pushing around a little bit. We just do that. Not bad. Throw some greenery in here. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We can probably... Finish that up just like that. That's a good little house we built. And I don't want that house to be the focus of the whole episode. So we're going to move on to the next thing. Going to want some mossy, some stone, some cracked. 
Uh, where's the iron bars? There we go. I think we'll just go with this. Where do I want this retaining wall to start? And start it like right here. I just want the perimeter of it for now. I think I do want it to kind of go down here. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I wanted to change this back side too. I don't know, I don't want it to extend too far past here because I want it to all show on the map too. So let's go pull the map and see how far we can go. Okay, so where... This block lines up with the wall there. We can go... Just a tiny bit past it. I'd say two or three blocks. Okay. So, what we're gonna do... Show you guys a little trick for clearing out land faster. Get yourself an Efficiency 5 Unbreaking 3 Shovel, right? In creative mode, this is me holding down the click button. Pretty fast, right? But you can just click faster to break it faster, and that's nice and all, but you're still limited by how fast you can click. So... Gasma mode. Game mode survival. If we go into survival... Now we can use this shovel at its full potential, and we can just hold down the button. Like so. So I always do my land clearing in survival for that reason. At least get a little shape of it. That's going to be kind of the base for our little pond there. We're going to smooth it out, don't worry. If anything, I just wanted to find the edges. Are we still on the map here? Yikes, we can see that kind of clips with the edge of the map there. So, we're going to go back into creative. And I'm going to get the actual edge to this. You see there, it's still clipping onto the side of the map, which is something I don't want. I want it all to be visible on the map. There we go. Okay. So this is as far as we can go here. And I want to start smoothing this out while we're in creative. Doesn't have to be a very big pond. It's big enough to look nice and fill out the area. Kind of a weird shape, but I feel like that'll work there. Gonna have a little stream coming from the garden down into here. Just a little thing for the villager kids maybe to play in, I guess. Who knows. But uh, this, I want to figure out the shape for the vineyard here. And what I think I might do is try and expand this out a bit. Right, maybe out to there. Kind of smooth this bit out a little bit. And just fill in the edges from here. Okay. Still, so let's see, this is the edge. Right to here. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out. Everything to the left we're gonna get rid of. I don't 
think I want to cut this down any. But I do want to just cut this and smooth it out a bit. Uh, we can probably hop back into survival. Cut this out. See, much faster in survival. And this is going to be a little different than what I have lined up here. Maybe cut that back like so. I am starving in survival mode, don't worry. It's fine. Let's go back into creative and get a good look at this. I have considerably cut down the area for it, but I don't think that is a problem. It's going to be a small vineyard, if anything. But this guy, maybe he's not really focused on, like, money, you know? Maybe he just, he does it for the craft. He likes making his own wine and stuff. He just happens to sell it for a little bit of extra money, you know? So let's finish our retaining wall here. We'll do this up here, maybe. Do that. Yeah, something like that. Um... Yeah, I feel like that's fine. Maybe we do cut out this bit. That way we can fit it all on one level. Let's see. Finish this. Then I'll see what I want to do. Okay, so obviously he'd have a path going around the house, down to his backyard or whatever for the vineyard, right? And the stream... Oh, I forgot about all this. We need to fill this in. Let's see. Do something like this. And that'll actually help us expand that a little. Let me fill all of this in, though. Okay, should I expand that one a little bit? I don't think so. Might cut it down, maybe. Go ahead and fix our wall first. Go ahead and expand it all the way around this way. 
where it meets back up with the same wall over here. Get rid of the old one. And we have a better idea of the space we're using for this. Alright. So that does sort of expand his, uh, his territory a little bit. I think what we want to do is we want to cut off the back side of this and have that all be vineyard area. And maybe have like a little path going down on this side. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, the wall perimeter is done though. That's not going to change. So we can start setting up for how I want to do that. I think every two... I want to do kind of a wall like this. So that's a little awkward and weird there. And it's definitely awkward on the corners. I didn't think that through. Whoops. We might have to stagger out the uh, spacing on it a little bit. Also, I don't like that. So what if we change it to that? That's not bad there. I'll keep that. I don't like the awkward um, change in iron bars. We'll probably end up changing some of the actual wall, or the actual ground, just to match that better. Then we got these awkward bits here that are just stretches where I don't want to do iron bars. Let me just fill in everything that I think will be blocks first. Which isn't as much as I would like. Yeah, I mean, not a whole lot of iron bars in all of this to look through. Kind of hard to do it here, like on these two bits, because I want them to connect to something on the side. You can't really do that unless it's at least a three space like that. I'm not really sure if this is the wall design I want to keep for that reason. I mean, it's not too bad on this side, but you get over to this corner here and it's just straight stone brick all the way through. Hmm. We'll leave it like that for now. Maybe changes later. I do want to go through and kind of mossify some of it and crack other bits. Throw in a nice mixture. Some of it can be touching. It doesn't all have to be like one block apart. Okay, now for the cracked bricks. Just keep going around like this, adding what I can.
Uh, one thing I can do to kind of mess with this even more, though, is I can try using the new, like, moss stuff on it, see how that works. I don't know what the mechanics are on moss, though. I don't know if it's going to keep growing and make it look bad at one point or what, but just adding that little variation there did a lot, I think. Keep it like that. Let's figure out what we're doing here. I am... Most likely going to go ahead and cut this down. Maybe about to there so it still meets up with the wall. See how that shaped up. Fill that in. Let's uh, do this. Yeah, that's not bad. I feel like that's alright. Cut off these next bits now just to smooth it out and leave room for the bottom. This is all terraforming stuff that I usually do in between episodes. But this is kind of spur of the moment, a little different than what I want. So we're going to have to do it here. Uh, let's fill that like so. And then get this bit here. Um, yeah, we want it to meet up there. Got some stone showing here that we're going to have to replace. It's fine, let's pop back into creative. And shape this back up a little bit. Make it look sort of more natural in certain places. Get rid of the stone. Yeah, that's not bad. I think I am satisfied with that. So we can do a little path going down this way. I don't know if I want it to be this path here. So for now, I'm just going to do a actual path path. Like that. Add one more there, and go down this way, and then we can start curving it here to the vineyard. Why does that look bad? Might as well just do that. I think we'll go just one on the diagonals here. So cut this down. Yeah, that looks a bit better. And we'll start our vineyards here. Let's get some fences. We'll just do oak. We'll start laying these out. I don't know how that got there. Do one from there to there. Have like a little pathway in between. And from there to there will be another. Right? 
then we can do here to here is one. Do a small one. No. Do one from there. Doesn't line up with that. Those. About this. That lines up. Okay. Oh, I also got to make room for the uh, stream that's going to go down there. And I don't know where that's going to be. And just put it right here, I guess. Have a little pond that flows down into that pond there. Okay. So for these vineyards, let's just do one first. I think we want some bushes, some sweet berries. There's sweet berry block I can grab. Like an actual bush, or do I have to just plant them and wait for them? I think I'm going to have to plant and wait for them, or bone meal them. Uh, where was that? I saw it somewhere. There it is. So, let's see... Do something like this, I think. Let's have them go across each bit. Make sure to do these as well. Then we're going to extend this one more up. Gonna get some oak slabs and then gonna get some twisting vines. See how this looks. Here we out. We put these here, do the oak leaves across, and can we plant these underneath? No, I thought you could. I know you can do the weeping vines. Right? Oh, maybe they can't be put on... Maybe they can't be put on those. Um, does it have to be netherrack? Because that's gonna suck. Oh, yikes. Can it be any solid block? Maybe it's not just... Yeah, it can be any solid block. It doesn't have to be netherrack. Like, maybe it can be moss. And, okay, I still can't hang the twisting vines, though. So, we can plant these going downwards. I think that's as far as they'll go, though. Then, let's get some bone meal. Ingredients? Yeah. And let's see how this looks. It's not a bad little look for the garden there. I feel like we can rock a few of those. I'm not sure about the moss blocks, though. We might have to change the moss something different. But we'll go ahead and finish up all of these, make them look like that. And then we can do the final bit of the episode, which is going to be the pond and the stream. Alright, get our stairs in. Be very careful when putting them on these fences so we don't mess up. Right, 
and then we'll do our moss across And then we just gotta hang the vines. I don't know if they'll grow on their own naturally. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grow them myself by placing two of them each. Come on, there we go. All right, and the last two over here. Alright, we have a decent little vineyard going here now. What other stuff is in the uh, natural section that we might be able to use? Flowering azaleas, maybe? Um, let's see. Isn't there moss that you can, like, hang? Or, like, put over blocks. I can do that. That way there's some natural lighting here. I think I like that. And we'll go ahead and put this on all of these. Oh, I can put it on top, too. That gives it a slightly different color to where it kind of goes better with the wood too, so I like that. Uh, are these just blocks? These are just like bush blocks. There we go. Give him some nice flowers outside his house, growing in the bushes. What other stuff is there? I haven't looked at all of this new update stuff too much, so bear with me. Not even a new update anymore, I just haven't looked at it. I don't know what the spore blossoms are. I don't think drip leaf will go too good. Yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. That's looking pretty decent there, if you ask me. Now we gotta dig out the stream. And we can have it flow out maybe right here. Oh, that's already in the stream. That's fine. Um, throw that out. Grab some of that. And kind of dig this a little deeper here, maybe. How do we want it to look up here? I can just do like a little pond on the edge here, maybe. Yeah, something like that. That way it doesn't interfere too much with anything else, I think. Mm. 
do this. Okay, I think that's going to be our final answer there. And then this path can kind of extend over to here. I think we want some paths going through here. do another one like right here another little vineyard thing small one but i think it'll work doesn't quite match up with that but i feel like that's fine no you know what no we aren't going to do that leave that be Okay, let's fix this up. Can't even remember how I did this. Like that, right? There we go. Okay, so that's the path around into the little vineyard area. Let's go ahead and fill this pond with water. Natural blocks, I would assume. Nope, tools, right. Is that flowing right? Sort of. Okay, so we'll kind of fix this up a little. Um, hmm. I don't like water physics in this game. Like it's just not gonna look right unless it's a flat thing like that. Then I like the little diagonal bits. Uh, what if we do that? Maybe not there. Damn it, now that's messed up. That maybe? How does that look? Still a little weird, but I feel like it works fine. Go ahead and fill in all of this. Alright, that is all source blocks. go. Okay, we gotta add stuff to the water. Gonna get some lily pads. What's all, what all goes in water in Minecraft that we can place down? Can't even find the lily pads. There they are. 
Uh, let's see, let's see. I don't want, like, coral and stuff in there. We can do some seagrass. Not kelp. Kelp is going to grow out of control. Okay, let's dot some, some of this stuff around. What else? What else? Can do... Do we want a retaining wall on this at all? How's it looking on the map? Not looking bad. I like how this is looking, especially how this area looks on the map. I didn't really have much more of an idea for this other than just a pond. If I'm being honest. And to that extent, that's done. There's really just something to fill out this little section here. Um, what else can we do? Also, why does the path look different? But over here it just shows straight, like, moss. Oh, it's probably because I put these on the sides here. Okay. Maybe we can put a couple more, like, here on the sides? What did I just throw? I threw the water bucket. Okay. Uh, what all do we need? We need that. That. Or that. And that. Now let's do one from here to here. Then I guess from here to here. Or just make this a big one that stretches all the way across. Then we stagger another one on this side here. We'll see how that looks. Place down our stairs. Get our moss going across. Go ahead and plant our sweet berries. Don't want to eat it, I want to plant. And get our hanging, whatever you call these, the creepers? The weeping vines. And then finish up with our glow lichen. Yeah, that's a couple more. Not bad. I suppose if we really want, we can put one right behind the house, but that would kind of block the window from them looking down on everything. Um, let's do something like this. Stop breaking that one. There we go. Just have like a little overhang here. I guess re-grab all of these, because we'll probably do an overhang on the front, too. I would say we can do some, uh, 
iron gates hanging down, but those aren't going to look right because they aren't connecting to blocks. So we'll leave that. Come back over here and do another one on this side. Um, that maybe? What if we can get some half slabs? I think that's good. That's a good little entrance to this area here. do another one of these right here at the front maybe so people get an idea of what they're walking in on couple dotted there yeah let's do that to kind of fill out this area too because this is a small empty spot uh i need my moss back i said we were probably gonna do a cellar to the house as well i forgot about that uh we can at least make like a little cellar door and then i might just dig it out off screen you guys know I'm not going to do the interior at any point in time. Okay, and then our lichen. Okay, and for the cellar door, I guess we'll put it on this side here, so we might bust out the windows here. Make this a straight wall. We'll make this cellar door out of stone brick. Regular stone brick doesn't have to be cracked or mossed. Um, maybe that's too much of a slant. What kind of doors do we want on it? We usually have like little trap doors to them, right? And I I've kind of made that to where I can't do that easily with these. Hold on. That might be a way right there. Gotta put it... here. Okay, and then we put one there, and close that. Don't like that. Do this. Hold on, hold on, I'm figuring it out. So it opens up like that, right? And then you start walking down. Got the stairs. Go like one more down. Right, we just need to close off this bit up here. Um... Oh, 
I like these here. I just, it's this bit. I guess we're going to have to go blocks for that. That's not bad. You open up, you start going down. But then, like, ah. Uh, I need that to be open. Unless it goes out one more, maybe? I don't know if there's a way I can do this with the stairs and the trap doors. And that kind of messes with that. Hold on. Get rid of the corner pieces. Then he can just kind of walk down, I guess. We need those there. Can we walk down without those? No, we need these here. We put stairs here. We yeah, no, that's too much. Too much. Uh, we'll call this a work in progress for the seller. We might do, though. Can we do that, at least? Yeah, we can do that, at least. Okay, and I think that's going to be a wrap for today's... Not my shovel, I need the shovel. That's going to be a wrap for today's episode. Go ahead and check our map. Fill that out. That is a very lovely completed... I, I dropped the map. I want to... No, I can always grab another map. That is a lovely completed village area right there. I really like how this build turned out. Uh, the only thing I'm not completely satisfied with, I would say, is the pond here. We might come back to that. At one point, but overall, this ties together really nicely here. And I will call this build a success. So next time, we're going to move on down the path here. And I think we're going to hit the windmill of the farm and maybe the silos and tool shed here. Finish up that. But that's going to be next time. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you then for another exciting build in our town of Zalus. Bye-bye.